With brown 8 aught thread, start by securing your thread to the hook and then wrapping it back to the bend of the hook. Snip off the excess thread. The tail of this particular fly is going to be made out of wood duck dyed mallard flank. Tear off about a quarter of an inch, group the ends together, and secure them in right at the bend of the hook. The length of the tail should roughly be half the length of the shank. Once that's all nice and secure, take your scissors and snip off the excess. The rib of our fly is going to be made out of a small black wire. Secure that in at the midway point and wrap it back to the bend of the hook. Once that's complete, we're going to add our mahogany brown superfine dubbing. Sparsely dub the thread with your dubbing and then create a small taper to the halfway point up the shank of the hook. Once you're there, take your black wire and wrap it forward, creating a nice even rib to the halfway point where you're going to secure it down and then snip off the excess. And once that's all trimmed, go ahead and add a few extra security wraps just to help hold everything in place. Now at that halfway point, we're going to take our black goose biot, snip off two pieces, and secure them in one at a time on top of the shank of the hook. Be sure that when you are securing them down, that they are veering slightly away from each other, just as displayed. The wing casing is what we're going to add next, which is a small piece of yellow razor foam. When you cut your strip of razor foam, be sure that it only covers the thorax of the fly. The piece that we're using here is slightly over a sixteenth of an inch thick, but once you have that all nice and secure, create a nice bed with your thread up to the eye and then wrap it back to that halfway point so we can add a little bit of super fine dubbing to cover up our thread wraps. Once you have created a small taper that slopes gently toward the eye, it's time to add the legs. The legs of the fly are also going to be made out of that wood duck dyed mallard flank. Tear free about a half an inch of material and then secure it down on top of the shank of the hook, roughly three quarters the length of the body. But once that's nice and secure, snip off the excess. Once everything is snipped off, add a few more security wraps just to help hold everything down. And now take your scissors and gently separate the left and the right legs of our fly. It only takes a little bit of pressure to distinguish right and left legs, but once that has been done, take your razor foam and bring it forward, slightly pulling it, giving it a little bit of pressure, and then secure it down right behind the eye. Once that's nice and secure, snip off the excess. And now it's time to bring the goose by its forward. If you secured them in right on top of the shank of the hook, slightly veered away from each other, when you pull them both down forward toward the front of the fly and secure them down, you'd create that really nice split wing look that the fly is known for. Bring those forward and secure them down right behind the eye. When they're nice and secure, snip off the excess. Once everything is snipped away, add a few more extra security wraps just to help hold everything in place, and now it's time to whip finish. Once you finish whip finishing, snip off the excess thread, and you have yourself a split wing PMD emerger.